Uh, welcome to Bob the Training Legal Solution. Um, if you want the best mock interview in North America, feel free to check us out at bobstraining.org. Moreover, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. We hope you all can get a um, great offer and we're just here to help you. So today we're going to talk about a super easy problem called a linked list cycle. Basically, given a singly linked list, determine if it has a cycle or not. So the most naive way is basically keeping a set. So whenever when you're transitioning through the list, as as long as you see one the one node is already there, if there's a cycle, so you you just return true because you you see the same node twice, or else you return false. But the challenging part is whether you use extra space or not. There's actually a standard or classic method of basically keeping two pointers. One pointer is one or two steps ahead. And then um, if there's a if there's a cycle, so basically the there is a slow pointer and then there's a fast pointer. Slow pointer always move one step and a faster pointer always move two step. That means if there is actually a cycle, so there mathematically you can prove that in the, within that cycle, these two pointers will actually um, will just actually collide with each. Finally, there was a point, intersection point, and this these two leads will will be basically collided with each other. Collide intersect with each other. Okay, so with that said, let's just uh, quickly call this method up. Um, so one one quick question is, so you said not just the starting point, the slow and the faster pointer is not the same. It's more like the, uh, so when the slow pointer moves one step, the fast pointer cannot just simply move one step. So the faster pointer actually has to move two steps or else it will, it will just be, it will never actually collide in that case. Thanks a lot for watching. It's that simple.